welcome students in this session we are going to study programming and application case studies okay so up to this we were studied the 8086 microprocessor architecture and dressing mode instruction set programming after that interfacing devices so what are the interface ic is present with 8086 microprocessor okay then finally we are going to study the case studies so case studies means the application case studies that means the real time applications how to implement the real time applications then here we are going to study uh, five different applications okay and the programming so these are things we are going to study in this session okay so in the first one we are going to see the traffic light controller second one led display third one lcd display and the fourth one keyboard display interface and the fifth one alarm controller okay so in the five important applications we are going to study one by one let us enter into video u.com first we are going to see the traffic light control what is traffic light so the traffic light means we know that is a signal signal in transport in roadways okay so in the signals we are having a uh, three different colors that is red yellow and green the red indicates stop green indicate go and yellow indicate ready these three signals that is used in our roadways okay so how to uh, implement this actually uh, we are having a different uh, ways in uh, some case uh, some roads are having a junction from different directions okay what are the directions are possible what are the directions are impossible okay so based on this some criteria we can glow the lights okay so generally the lights are uh, different types that is a manual method and automatic delay based method okay and some case uh, in uh, foreign countries the signals are traffic signals are in the form of uh, length of the vehicle okay they are used as different cameras uh, in the road nearest to the signals okay right so how much vehicle present in the particular path so in that path they provide high delay okay to uh, clear the complete vehicles okay right so different ways we are making the traffic but in our uh, place the automatic delay based method okay right so in main uh, track we are using a higher delay in a small track we are using lower delay for vehicle passage okay so here we are going to use the delay based method and we are go going to glow different colors of leds depends on the road rules with some delay okay so traffic lights which may be known as uh, stop light traffic lamp traffic signals signal lights okay right so the signaling devices positioned at the road interaction pedestrian crossing and other location to control the concreting flow of traffic okay so the traffic light controller section consists of 12 numbers uh, point leds arranged in four lanes so in traffic light interface card we are having a uh, 12 different leds 12 different leds means 3 cross 4 12 so each uh, lane we are having three colors red yellow green okay 
so in four lane we are having a four different uh, four three class four that's a totally LEDs can be connected with the 886 microprocessor by using 8255 interfacing IC okay right so each uh, lane has green for go yellow for listen and yes for uh, that mean red for stop okay this LED is used okay right so on the signals are here actually this is a uh, four uh, directions east west north south in each direction you are having a three io line needed okay because to connect three leds okay here we are going to connect three leds three different colors leds uh, okay right and these colors are uh, connected by using three different port iowa port here in a to double five port a is considered as a output port okay uh, port b also considered as a output port okay then control word register is used okay that is a uh, uh, remaining pins that is a control lines okay supply from microcontroller okay, or microprocessor okay right so this way we can connect the leds okay totally we need 12 leds so 12 io lines okay 8 io lines taken from port a remaining 4 io lines taken from port b okay all the io lines are output port okay right this is a block diagram of uh traffic light interface actually uh, the dark uh, vertical line indicates system bus okay system bus the system bus connected with different components okay we will see one by one first we are using the keyboard and display controller a279 the keyboard and display controller uh, control the keyboards and led display okay the keyboard is used to feed the input to the device okay and the L led display that is used to uh, display the delay value okay so in our road and uh, top uh, we are having a led display that shows the seconds okay same way here this LC, LED, led display is to show the time delay okay so uh, this keyboard display controller mainly control the led and the keyboard keyboard is used to feed the input to device okay right then the decoder is used android driver and cathode driver that is used to control the seventh segment leds seventh segment leds okay keyboard is uh, we are having a, a four class four keyboard so by using the keyboard we can feed the numbers in the numbers as a delay okay then here we are having the memory uh, e broom and rom uh, ram okay e broom is used to store the program data permanently okay right and ram is used to uh, control the entire operation in real time okay actually in the uh, real time uh, data are stored in ram okay in the right hand side we are having uh, two major blocks one is a uh, 8255 the 8255 is connected with the system bus okay and the port of the 8255 is connected with the uh, lights okay the led lights okay but through the buffer okay and another one block is 8086 the 8086 uh, execute the programs uh, from ebrom okay and uh, it is uh, provide the control signal through the latch okay so according to the control signal uh, the 8255 and the keyboard and display controller okay these two interfacing ic's are controlled so uh, by using a keyboard and display uh, controller we can uh, give a input to the microprocessor and display device is to display the delay value and a255 io program programmable interface controller that is used to uh, provide the uh, derive the led okay that is a signal lights okay that is derive the signal lights okay so this is a block diagram very important block diagram okay right then this is a circuit diagram so in the circuit diagram uh, we are considering the uh, three different colors in four lane okay totally 12 leds are connected so this is a common anode led so the ca ca sorry common cathode led and the anode is connected with the port of a255 actually we are considered for 12 lines 
8 numbers from port A, 4 numbers from port B. Okay, these lines are connected with this each LEDs. Okay, so the other end of the 8 to double 5 connected with a microprocessor that is a data lines and control signals are connected with a microprocessor. Microprocessor provide the data to glow the LEDs. Okay, so the how to glow the LEDs, how uh, that is depends on some and like table okay that is a, uh, some table is present we will see in programming okay right then this is a program actually uh, uh, here we are having the fixed delay okay right uh, fixed delay is for all the lane okay so uh, just uh, we can uh, uh, stop the vehicle and and pass other uh, the lane we are past the vehicle but all the uh, lane face same delay okay right so initially we are uh, uh, see the program uh, 1200 is a memory address okay the it has a data that is loaded into bx register then cx is a count value okay that is also loaded into cx register then we are moving the data present in bx to al register okay then after that control port move dx comma control port okay uh, control port is loaded to dx then out dx al comma dx so the data present the al that is moved to dx okay then increment bx that is uh, we are finding the next memory address then increment uh, bx okay then after that move al comma bx second data is loaded uh, to al register then move dx comma port a so port a that value is moved to move port a value to dx then after that we are out al comma so al value is present here that is a second data that is moved to out so in the second data first data means this is a value 80 and then 21 uh, these are the different uh, control signal that is used to glow the different colors okay south way east way north way and west way then the end okay so these are the uh, lookup table these values are loaded into uh, bx register actually 1200 initially we are having the 1200 that is 80 is a, the control word register of 8 to double 5 the 80 is a control word register of 8 to double 5 this control word register indicates port a and port b act as a output port okay right so that is loaded into uh, initially a bx register that is moved to al after that uh, it is out to dx register okay the control port is assigned to dx register then from al to dx register we are sending so a to five uh, a to double five receive the value 80 uh, from accumulator then after that we are increment the bx now uh, the it find that 21 the second data it find that 21 okay then after that uh, we are moving the bx value to al then uh, we are uh, port a is assigned for dx register then after that al data is moved to dx okay out dx comma al so now the dx is uh, that means port a the second data 21 is sent to port a okay right then after that we are called the delay so this is a delay program uh, bush cx okay cx is already 8 okay then move cx is 5 then uh, move dx is a, a logical value that's a count then decrement dx then jump no zero load to. so uh, up to uh, every decrement it will check the jn is at loop to. then loop repeat okay then pop cx and return so uh, after the completion of this entire uh, cycle it will return to the previous session that is inc bx then bx value is incremented then loop next then again this loop is executed again and again so the, in this process we are sending uh, every individual data to port a okay then after that we are uh, calling on delay the delay is executed for some seconds or minute okay here it is in seconds okay right so this way we can execute this way we can glow individual different leds in a particular time okay so this is a traffic light interface controller next we are going to see led display okay what is led display uh, where we are using led display actually leds are used in where generally uh, 
two different types of LEDs there that is a, a normal LED and seven segment LED okay so seven segment LED means seven different LEDs used actually these are the group of uh, seven different LEDs connected in a, uh, this format okay so according to the different uh, format actually to glow uh, to display one particular number so we have to glow some particular LEDs okay so on these uh, seven segment LEDs are considered as A, B, C, D, E, F, G okay so if it is one means if it is one means that indicates the particular LED is glowing first see uh, here the number is uh, displayed so now is three so the red indicate three so in order to display three here the particular uh, LED is switched on one means on zero means off now B is off where is B here okay now G is off okay similarly all LEDs are glowing okay that is one so this is a seven segment LED the seven segment LED that is mainly used to display the numbers so that is used in uh, that is a weight machine in our shop then wall clock digital wall clock okay then wherever we are uh, using the numbers to display at the under place we are using this seven segment led the seven segment led is very low cost high reliable okay so it is very strong okay right uh, and low power consumption okay easy to drive okay so that this seven segment led is used in most of the applications okay right then how to connect led to microprocessor in order to connect on led to microprocessor we are using a 8 to double five uh, interface controller uh, the 8 to double five have uh, that is a port in that port we can connect these leds so in the port is having a high means at the time we can connect the anode of uh, led is connected with the port and the cathode is under the ground means the whenever the port is active high or logic one at the time led will glow other time it will let it will automatically switch it off okay so by using a program we can control the individual leds okay without any disturbance okay so that is a uh, led interface then uh, this is a pin assignment for 8086 led okay actually in your consider the port ta is output port way to 5 line okay and then point led led one LED. okay right so this is a the table that is used under the led uh, this is our circuit connection so 8086 connected with the uh, uh, two things the latch okay the 8086 under the latch and the latch name ic number is 74ls373 okay okay 74ls373 latch okay this uh, latch having a uh, two different latch so one latch used to control the data lines that is a a b c d e f g okay and another latch used to uh, select the particular seven segment okay select the particular seven segment that is a select line yes uh, yes not yes one yes two okay right so yes one yes two yes actually here uh, uh, yes one yes two yes one two yes five Having the select lines okay so the select lines are controlled by the transistor driver the transistor driver base is connected with the, this latch the latch provide the base uh, signal that is activate the transistor when the transistor is activated it will uh, glow the particular particular uh, seven segment led okay then uh, which number is display that is decided by the latch in the top latch this latch is connected to the data lines of microprocessor it provide the data to seven segment led through the buffer so a b c d f g d b okay so these lines the eight lines are connected with the this seven segment leds okay so this is a circuit connection of the led interface okay so the diagram is very important okay right then this uh, different two latches are used uh, enabled disabled by this select line okay oe okay oe bar is used to select the or enable or disable the this two latches okay that is connected by one and gate and gate 
along with the address lines okay right and then this is a led interfacing along with the a to double five okay so the a to double five port a is connected with the leds so according to the different control data we can control individual leds okay right actually uh, this is uh, this diagram shows uh, seven segment led and that is considered a single led okay but it is a seven segment led next one is a program again the program that is used to uh, show something in a led okay so here we are having a initially you are having the output uh, a255 initialization that is at so the at is more to al then that is uh, more to uh, dx dx having f of 36 that is the address of control word register so here out dx comma al so at is loaded to dx and dx having the address of f of 36 then begin okay uh, in AL we are loading double zero in move dx f of three zero then out dx okay this is the next address uh, uh, port a address then we are make the delay okay then after that uh, AL is moved to f of then out dx comma actually here uh, we are simply uh, glowing the led and switch off the led uh, whenever we are providing uh, ff okay ff at the time the all leds are glowing whenever we are providing uh, 30 sorry uh, 00 at the time all the leds are switched off so in the glowing time and uh, off time is controlled by the delay program this is a delay program okay right so very simple uh, led interface program next one i want to say lcd what is lcd that is liquid crystal display okay uh, lcd in the beginning uh, it was very smaller size okay it can uh, display some numerical values okay numbers and alphabets okay but nowadays and uh, the lcd is in the very higher level nowadays we are having organic led okay the lcd display in the form of organic led so high quality high darkness display is currently available okay but here we are going to see this type of uh, smaller led okay that is a 2 cross 16 uh, LCD display. Okay, this is a symbol LCD that is used in the coin box book phone and other, some other small devices. Okay, uh, in uh, in our mobile phone, we are initially we are uh, using this type of uh, LCDs in our Nokia double one double zero and that type of phone having this type of LCD. Okay, and the LCD having fully dots uh, as as we as same as set of an uh, lcd used in our calculator al calculator also this type of led but without light okay in backlight is not available in calculated lcd okay but in mobile phones we are having the backlight okay we can see the uh, data even in dark places okay so this is a lcd so we are having a variety of lcd okay this is a normal lcd this is a graphic lcd the graphic lcd is used in uh, basic mobile phones the keypad mobile phones okay so this is a base uh, basic led lcd this lcd is used to uh, show uh, two lines okay eight two cross 16 uh, lines okay so by using this uh, lcd uh, we can uh, display small words commands etc okay this lcd used in uh, coin box uh, phone and uh, other devices some other devices okay right so this is a pin diagram of the lcd so, so it has uh, six control signals and eight data lines so the data lines is to provide the data that did, uh, what data we want to display that is given to these data lines then we are having a, a write operation read operation okay and we see we see we did and the ground okay these are the uh, six control signal and uh, eight data lines this is the main uh, pin diagram of this lcd and here we are having a different uh, control instructions uh, based on some code zero uh, x1 means uh, clear display uh, screen uh, two means return home four means 
decrement cursor, 6 main increment cursor, 5 main shift display right, 7 main shift display left, 8 means display of cursor of yes, uh, game means display of cursor on C means display on cursor of E means that is a uh, display on cursor blinking. Likewise, we are having uh, so many instructions. So in our program, we are using this instruction to control these LEDs. Okay, right. Then this way the LEDs are glowing. How to we are going to connect? Actually, in a A to double five, the port A and port B is used to connect this L series. Port A and port B is act as output port. So port B handle the data and port A handle some control signals to L series. So this is the basic L series. That is a two cross sixteen line L C D display. This is a graphic L C D display this type of lcd used in mobile phones okay right this type of lcd used in mobile phone okay right then this is a basic uh, diagram of lcd interface so the lcd is directly connected with the port a and port c actually port a is used to provide the data and port c is used to provide the control signals okay and remaining is a voltage and ground these are the uh, connection of uh, LCD interface. So here we are having 8086. This is a 8 to double five. LCD is interface through 8 to double five interface controller. Okay, right. This is a program for LCD interfacing. In LCD interfacing, we are having the large program. But in uh, exam point of view, it is now no need to write this type of program because it is a time consuming process. So they won't ask any program for LCD interface. Okay, this is LCD interface for 8051 microcontroller okay right next we want to see the keyboard display interface so keyboard and display interface how to interface keyboard and display already we uh, we have studied the 8279 keyboard and display interface controller the 8279 that is used to indicate used to connect the keyboard and led or lcd display along with the microprocessor okay so how to we are going to connect let us see here uh, this is a basic uh, diagram the diagram that is keyboard display interface actually this is a 8279 interface ic okay keyboard and display interface ic this is our keyboard that is a matrix keyboard so four cross four matrix keyboard this is a, a reset and control signal okay this is our display unit that is a seven segment leds are used here the seven segment leds are controlled by the transistor driver okay transfer driver this is a decoder the decoder that is used to uh, control the uh, led actually in led interface we are using a decoder okay that type of uh, decoder is used here okay right? that is a latch we are studied in as latch base okay. so here it is considered a decoder okay right and this uh, lines to, uh, 50 pin header that is used to connect this board with microprocessor or microcontroller okay right so these are the seven segment driver this is a eight cross two keyboard and this is a eight to seven nine keyboard and display interface controller okay let us see how to see uh, already we have studied eight to seven nine okay here another one ic is used that is a 138 that is act as a one decoder okay right then this is a circuit diagram of keyboard interface in the keyboard interface we are having a different keyboards that is connected with the our interfacing ICs okay so how the keyboard is works the keyboard having the rows and the columns okay whenever we are pressing the key the row and columns are short circuited okay so this is a row and uh, this is a columns so if you are pressing the key the rows and columns are short circuited at the time the particular uh, key is selected then the key code for the particular key is transferred to microprocessor okay right so uh, if you are pressing a two key at the same time the first key only recognized if you are pressing n key at the same time the that is a n key rollover okay right at the time the the key values are stored in buffer okay or in uh, that is a ram okay right so this is a keyboard block diagram actually this is a small diagram of our keyboard so here we are having the output 
if you are pressing one key at the time the rows and columns are short circuited the rows and columns are connected with the 5 volt so we can get the 5 volt in any one of the line so according to this line we can get the and uh, the t key is pressed or not that is indicated by this output okay see uh, high low open close actually and this is a table that is is to uh, to find the key brush okay when key is open at the time the x is high key is open at the time x is high because it is connected to the 5 volt uh, close condition also x is high uh, what is low when it is low when x is low when open it is high uh, when close it will produce a low okay whenever we are pressing the key at the time it will press a low okay right so likewise the detecting the matrix keyboard key okay right then this is a keyboard interface uh, circuit diagram or the block diagram so this diagram shows that uh, 8 to double 5 is used the port c of 8 to double 5 is connected with the 4 cross 4 keyboard uh, the port c upper is used as a scan line port c lower is used as a return lines okay the return lines is a uh, rows and the uh, scan line is as a column okay then the other side the 8086 is connected with the 825 by using a latch and a decoder 3 to 8 decoder okay uh, the next one is a uh, this is our keyboard interface okay right so this is the connection of keyboard the next one is a uh, uh, connection of LED display okay so same diagram actually in the latch is used and then control signal generator is used in a maximum mode okay here we are in a port C is used for keyboard and the port B is used for LED display you can LED switch on 5 logic 1 and off 5 logic 0 okay this is a display interface diagram then So program for keyboard and display interface okay so in a slice a keyboard and display controller then out out 81 means the scan keyboard lockout mode and slide please clear count load mask pattern of enable of rst sound point where that is interrupt then some mask the interrupt and enable interrupt then jump here wait for interrupt initialize 8 to 7 and then read first in first order ram mode okay that is by 40 out to 8 1 then get key code in 80 initialize a memory pointer to point 0.7 segment port that is used to uh, control the display device to write the display ram so display ram if you write any data in display ram that is shown in the uh, sound segment lcd then we are getting the sound segment code okay, that is sent to display run then enable interrupt return okay so this program that is used to get the data from one keyboard and display that data to seven segment led and the last one is the alarm controller okay so what is alarm controller actually we are uh, in our daily life we are uh, showing a different alarm okay in our ambulance we are using a siren that is sound of the alarm okay right uh, in a bank we are using a alarm to call the customer okay so the alarm controller is used to indicate something that is a uh, emergency or dangerous okay or urgent like that okay so here the black term of alarm controller is shown in the screen so here we are having a 8254 that is a time delay generator and 8255 programmable peripheral interface controller these two ICs are in, uh, used along with the 8086 microprocessor these uh, two ICs are connected with the address line data lines and the control signal of 82 uh, 8086 then it is also used the decoder 
the decoder is to enable the A254 and A255 by using chip select lines okay then the A255 output is connected with uh, that is a port C connected with the relay the relay is used to control the alarm okay. so the program according to the program loaded in a 886 program uh, 886 so the alarm is enabled at the time of emergency condition so the alarm is working at 230 volt ac the 230 volt ac is uh, controlled by the relay circuit okay the relay circuit the relay circuit uh, switch the uh, 230 volt ac to alarm whenever we need okay so block diagram the clock generator that is used to generate the clock for uh, A254 that is a crystal oscillator used as a clock generator then the A254 uh, give the record clock to the uh, A0886 and A255 interfacing IC okay the decoder 3 to uh, 8 decoder that mainly is to uh, uh, produce chip select signal to A254 and A255 okay and the remaining is control signals uh, read operation write operations and a not a1 a not a1 that is used to select the a254 okay that is also used for a255 then read write reset these are the control signals used in uh, a255 and a254 the control signal is coming from 806 micro processor this is a table that indicates the relay control okay it's not record okay so this is a alarm controller next you want to see the general applications of microprocessor in home applications that is an intercom telephone security system garage door open answering machine fax machine home computer tv cable tv tuner vcr Then remote controller, video games, cellular phones, music instrument, swing machines, light control, paging, camera, pinball machines, toys, exercise equipments. In all the days we are using microcontroller and a microprocessor in office, telephone, computer, security system, fax machine, microwave, copier, laser printer, etc. In auto trip computer engine control airbag etc etc okay in all the days we are using microprocessor and microcontrollers okay right so this is the end of the unit okay right uh, unit 3 is completed by this session so run study well okay so end of the third unit so this uh, case study any one of the two case studies uh, screen university examination so the most important is alarm controller traffic light con interface controller it's the most important okay students must study these two okay so thanks for watching uh, please do subscribe like and share with your friends okay thank you